Good morning and welcome to Trade Out Loud's morning briefing, Forex morning briefing for today, Monday, February 24, 2014. It is 8.51 a.m. Eastern Time. Uh, let's start by taking a look at the week's major economic releases that are likely to impact our currency market. Uh, for Monday, so for today, we do not have any high impact releases. We did have one release from the UK that sent the euro dollar, you could see it right here, into its previous highs of 1.3770 and quickly turn around. Testing probably is going to test support level at 1.3700, so that's going to be a catalyst in this, uh, in this case. We are still standing very bullishly right here, as you can see from the daily chart. I'm going to zoom in on the four-hour chart so you could see the previous day's low right here that is pinpointed right at the whole number of 1.3700 and we're pretty we're trading in a very wide range so for a confirmation of a continuation higher we do need to uh, trade over 1.3770 and for a retracement uh, we need to wait for 1.3688 in order to uh, initiate a probable short position uh, that will probably uh, send uh, send the euro dollar back down to the 3600 level and even test the 3550 level as you can see from, from this pivot low right here. Uh, continuing with the economic releases, for, so for tomorrow, again, we do not have any high-impact news releases, so we're pretty much expecting expecting a narrow currency market. But on Wednesday, things are going to shake up at 4.30 a.m. with the UA, UK quarterly GDP, and we're going to pay att strictly a strict attention to that deviation. And for those of you that are overnight uh, traders or uh, for those of you that reside uh, elsewhere than the United States, you can probably... Uh, Pick up a really good day trade in the UK quarterly uh, GDP if you have somewhat of a deviation. So the deviation that we're looking for is probably around 0.4, 0 0.5% 0 0 from the uh, previous number. So that's going to be a watch. Let's not forget that the, the previous number was 0.7 and the forecast was is as well set as 0 0.7 not expecting major um you know uh, major deviations but if a deviation should occur this is the range that you might need to pay attention to so um so pay attention to uk quarterly gdp on wednesday the 26th also on the 27th we're going really quickly through this week with no high impact releases and uh, on the 27th we uh, we again don't have an, any major economic release um for friday we do have a little activity and this is due to some uh, news coming out of uh, Canada and this is Canada GDP at 8:30 and uh, let's take a quick look at uh US dollar Canadian dollar and you can see we had a really nice spike up we covered uh we we took our profits uh we took our profits in the uh dollar Canadian dollar and as you can see right now we're still retracing lower into this minor support area of 1.108 Eight approximate area still has room to continue lower into 1.10. Five nine. So we're going to take a look at the dollar, Canadian dollar throughout the week. Again, we're going to revisit it, but it's going to be probably in play starting on Friday. Um, and we're going to end the week at, uh, we're going to end a week with U.S. quarterly GDP. So this is the GDP week. So for, for major countries as you can see right here so for England and from uh, uh, Canada so on the 28th uh, we do have at 8 30 a.m. U.S. quarterly GDP and as well we're going to look for any potential deviation and uh, the previous number was 3.2 the forecast is set at 2.6, so uh, any deviation that should occur in this currency pair can potentially uh, trigger. So on good news, here we're going to get a pop on the dollar yen, uh, or we're on negative deviation, we're probably going to get a sell in the dollar yen. And let's take a look at the dollar yen uh, focal areas. 
All right, here we have it, and this is, let's start with a daily chart. You can see right here consolidating at the top of this range. 102.70 is actually the focal area that we're going to look for for a long position. This will actually mean that it's going to break this uh, heavy area of resistance and continue higher into the 103.40, 103.50 103 area and going back up to the 104 and even challenging the 105 so this is for long term but for sure short term so in case we're going to get positive uh positive uh, results so uh, good news from uh, the dollar uh the, from the dollar yen that will favor dollar yen going long we're going to look for uh, a trade that would trigger above 10280 and that can potentially run into 103 10350 and even 104 so uh, all eyes are going to be on that thank you so much this was our morning briefing for today with the major key levels for some economic releases uh, that are likely to influence these currency pairs uh see you tomorrow